had known what hour the thief will come he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through be therefore ready also for the son of man cometh at an hour when ye think not then peter said unto him lord speakest thou this parable unto us or even unto all verse 42 and the lord said who then is a faithful and wise steward who then is a faithful and wise steward whom his lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season the lord is saying be a wise steward and be a good steward faithful steward and then it says you give the household their portion in due season in due season you give the whole household their portion you know, it sometimes it amazes me how some families live. And sometimes you have the children that will complain. And it's like, you know, when we're eating in the house, father, mother, and children, the plates that we're using, they're not the very best. And yet we have good plates in the house utensils in the house and table mats and everything wonderful in the house then one day a visitor comes and the visitor that comes is not living with us is there one day in 365 days you will bring all the wonderful plates and the table mat and the table spread and everything up and the children say hey mommy so you have all these good, good plates, and we never eat out of this. And look at the one you've been giving us. I'm not going to eat out of that again. Bring this one out. You came to give this the visitor that just came only one day. How about us, your children? That's what the Lord is saying. Bring the best out for the household. Let's say, for example, here we are. And when we come to minister to you, we give something a leftover, something not good, something that is not the very best. And then when we go out there, a congregation we cannot see 24 by 7, we give them the very best state of the art. And those people that we don't even know whether they're sleeping or not, whether they're paying attention or not, we give them the very best of what we have. When we come to the household of faith, we give them something that we say, why are we being served with something like this? It's not the best. It's like, you know, when we used to have concerts in our church here. Then we spread the red carpet and those degrees they walk in and then we beautify every place and things are wonderful and those uh, young people giving us the concert will perform and then people say this is great but we say that just one day in 365 days i about every sunday i about every monday I about all the time we're there give us the very best don't just give the very best to those people out there that we cannot see. And that's the reason why as you come, you're ministering in message, you're ministering in music, you're ministering in any other way, give the best. Look at verse 42 again. And the Lord said, Who then is a faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his households to give them their portion of meat in due season. Blessed is that servant <laughs> whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth, 
I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord believeth is coming, I shall begin to beat the men servants and the maidens, and to eat and to drink and to be drunken. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. I pray your Lord will not be with the unbelievers. Did you hear the prayer I'm praying for you? Your Lord will not be with the unbelievers in Jesus' name. And that servant which knew his Lord's will. That servant which knew his Lord's will. That servant which knew his Lord's will. And there's no servant in this church. There's no server in this church. There's no steward in this church. That will say he doesn't know our Savior's will in ministry. Our Lord's will in ministry. Because God has given us a pastor who speaks with a loud voice, with an open mouth, with clear, distinct voice. And he says, this is the Lord's will in every area of ministry there is no servant no server no steward in this church part time or full time that will say I don't know the Lord's will I don't know what he requires of course we know I know, you know, we know together and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself neither did according to his will shall be beating with many stripes i pray god will forgive us i say god will forgive us but he that knew not what if we don't know he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes for unto whom much is given of him shall be much required and to whom men have committed much of him will they ask the more the lord is talking about restoration and he's saying we if we become restored sons restoration will come to your life if we become renewed saints restoration will come to your life and if we become enriched and replenished servants restoration will come to your life in jesus name can it start now I say, can you start now? Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. Here we are now. Verse 11. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall come and restore all things. And restore all things. And restore how many things? It has come. It has come. We'll experience it in Jesus' name. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. Restoration. Full restoration of an exceedingly powerful life. Let's talk to the Lord. We know the will of the Lord. What He wants us to do. I want us to live. I want us to comport ourselves in the church of the living God. I want us to be orderly, to be righteous, to be holy, to be pure, to be sanctified. We know His will. Get restored. Open your mouth and talk. Talk to the Lord. Oh Lord, here I am. He brought us to this place of transformation. He brought us to this place of cleansing, purifying, refining, sanctifying, 
They brought us to the place where our lights will shine radiant for you. And Lord, we come that you restore us as sons. Restored sons. Renewed saints. You want to make saints out of us. Shining bright with the light of the gospel. Saints. Righteous saints, rapturable saints, rewardable saints. Cleanse us all over again, Lord. Purify and purge all over again, O Lord. Renew the right spirit within each of us. Help us, Lord, not to just play religion, but to possess righteousness. Grant us, Lord, that restoration of our inheritance, restoration of your goodness, restoration of your power, restoration of all the provision you made for us on the cross of Calvary, restoration. Renewed saints. Replenished stewards. Replenished stewards. Faithful stewards. Holding on to the world. Leaching the world. Above material mundane things. Lifting up the word, the word of his grace, the word of his power, the word of a holy life, the word of life, eternal life. Lifting up that word in our hearts, in our lives, in our homes, in the church. In the fellowship, lifting up that word, holding fast the faithful word, as we are being taught, not holding administration, organization above the word. Organization without the word will not save any soul. Administration without the word will not save, sanctify, make holy, make righteous, get us ready for heaven, holding fast the faithful word. As we have been taught, living by that word, standing on that word. We know the Lord's will, the Master's will is to encourage people to be saved, encourage people to be sanctified. That's His will. That's His will. That's His will. The servant, the server, the steward that knows the Master's will does not prepare himself to do it. We'll be beating on the final day, reckoning day with many stripes. And the one that knew not, but still did things worthy of stripes, it too will still be beating. We want to pray that the Lord Himself will so help you, cleanse you purify you make you a true son 
a true saint, a trustworthy steward. A true son, are you? True saint, are you? Trustworthy steward, are you? Come out from among them. Are you separate, says the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you. You shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord Almighty. And the inheritance of the sons will become yours. Salvation, forgiveness, mercy, love, compassion. Holiness, purity, sanctification, healing, deliverance, dominion, privilege, opportunity, prosperity, wife, husband, children, provision, job, all things are available for be a son, protection, preservation. Privilege in ministry, all is available. Be a son and be a sage. Be a trustworthy steward. Power, authority, anointing, success in ministry, all available with heaven too. Even heaven, think about that. Mansions in heaven, all available. But be a son. Be a sage, be a trustworthy steward. In Jesus' name we pray. And the good people of God said, Amen. Are you ready to be a true son? Ready to be a true saint? Are you ready to be a trustworthy steward? Give me your answer. The Lord will make you say in Jesus' name. Now I'm going to pray, but remember you are going to save your clapping to the reckoning day. You're going to save your celebration. Clapping. For the reckoning day, the faith that we need to manifest and then have all the provisions of God, that's what he wants. And the faithfulness of son, of sage, of steward. And then all of heavens will open up. And then the blessings of God will come upon us in Jesus' name. I want to see more of obedience in the church rather than clapping. I want to see more faithfulness in the church rather than clapping. I want to see more of the faithfulness of following the word of God and living by the truth of the word of God more than clapping. That's what I'm saying. Don't clap after the, after the prayer. Save your clapping until the reckoning day. Now, heaven is going to pour something upon us. And we're going to have it in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because of revelation you have given us in your word. And we pray that this revelation was all the replenishing and everything, restoration that you have promised. It will come upon everybody in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you because of this retreat. Thank you for the manifestation of your power. We know mountains are gone already. 
we know all those difficulties and challenges are gone already we know that your power is made available already i pray that everyone will have a taste of your power in their lives in jesus name those who have gone astray those who have done evil and then you have put conviction in their hearts and they're looking up to you saying oh lord i surrender i bend i yield i give myself completely to you receive them in jesus name a faithful God, a forgiving God, a loving God, a compassionate God. Let your mercy, let your compassion, let your love spread over them and cleanse everyone from all unrighteousness in Jesus' name. And the power to do right, the power to live right, the power to be righteous, the power to be obedient, and the power to be righteous and rapturable. Give unto everyone in Jesus' name. And Lord, now I pray every blessing that your people desire, give unto everyone in Jesus' name. Nobody carrying sickness away from here. Nobody carrying oppression away from here. Nobody carrying enemy's power over them away from here. Deliver everyone in Jesus' name. Bless them in the home. Bless them in the market. Bless them in their places of work. Bless them in their schools. Everything they lay their hands upon, it will succeed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray spiritual blessing material blessing family blessing you pour upon every one of your people in jesus name when the devil and the enemy stood in the way before